up, YouTube? It's your boy Wall Dog 23 coming back here again with a little bit of a Before this video starts, make sure you guys leave a like, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to check out my description. Click that link if you guys want to make a donation, man. I, I am fine with whatever you guys donate. Check out my social media as well. Go follow me on IG. You know, if you guys ever feel free, if you guys ever want to ask me a question, you know, you can DM me or email me. You know, my email is in the description as well. Yo, so let's get right into the video, man. The Chiefs sign Keith Reezer. Man, listen. It's a, it's a sweet deal. I'm going to say it's, it's a sweet deal. The reason why I'm going to say it's a sweet deal for the, it's for the simple fact that he's been balling in an AAF. Now, if you know what AAF is, it's basically like a little D league, you know, um, NFL NFL scouts, you know, uh, anyone can look at the, AA, the AAF. I'm just, I'll keep, oh, why I keep saying AFL? Uh, I'm gonna call it AFL. Look at the AFL or whatever, you know, um, I've been, I've been watching him. He played for Orlando. Um, Keith Reese has been balling. And you know what's so crazy? We was the team that drafted Keith Reese. We, you know, I don't, yeah, we, we drafted Keith Reese. And like, he, in 2017, and uh, we let him go. And the 49ers picked him up. They let him go. So it's like, oh, what's going on? Like, Keith Reezer? Like, the guy, the guy bought out, man. He bought out. Um, I forgot his stats, but all I know is he was balling out. He's, he was one of the top corners in the AAF. You know, uh, dude balled out, man. And um, the if we didn't pick him up, I am for, I am for surely someone else is going to pick him up. He didn't have those crazy stats. Like he did playing in a, basically the, the football D league, you know. Uh, when he came, when he was playing, he didn't have like I said, he didn't have those stats. He was just you know a, a regular guy. No one really knew who he was, but he made a name for himself. Now when he's coming to us, you know, um, like like I said, that can take some pressure off uh, Kendall Fuller. Um, the guy's a beast, man. He can pretty much do everything, man. The, the guy, man, he he's a ball hawk, you know. Where that ball goes, he's right there. He's picking it off. And man, the guy, he can return it. We're talking about pick six, like pick sixes. Like this guy, I don't know how many pick sixes he got. I think like four or five, but that's a lot, you know, for one season, you know? The guy showed why he deserved another chance. And I think we made the right call here. Brett, man, you've been doing your thing, man. I did not talk about Emmanuel. Uh, we got Emmanuel, uh, we got him steal. That is a steal. Oh, I'm going to say this. Browns, that got finesse, bruh. I'm going to say that got finesse. The reason why I'm going to say that got finesse is because we gave you Eric Murray. I'm not, I'm not just, I'm no disrespect to Eric Murray, nothing like that. But Eric Murray for Emmanuel? Are you serious? That Emmanuel and Peppers was basically you guys. That was you guys' future right there. Them two, them, that duo right there was going to was gonna be a big threat. But now, since we got a steal, Brett, I don't know how you did it, but you worked your magic. Steal. <sighs> it's going to be crazy. Now, I was thinking that we wasn't going to... I was thinking, like, bro, we're losing all these players. How are we going to come back and gain more players? Brett, you the man. Now, um... I know everybody's worried about the Tyreek Hill situation. Uh, I have not really, like, I, I've been reading into it, but I have not really gotten anything out of it. But as far as things looking, you know, if you guys have not to subscribed to Tyreek Hill's um, YouTube, go do that. Go subscribe to Tyreek Hill's YouTube. Um, <sighs> everything's looking fine. If you and Now, here's why I say everything's looking fine. Tyreek Hill, he does not seem to be bothered by it, you know. He's, he's still working, still doing his job. I think Tyreek Hill is safe. You might as well say Tyreek Hill is safe. And, uh, and there's nothing I can really say. He's safe. You know, he's safe. He's working and, you know, he's worried about, he's worried about, you know, um, just getting out there, working out, you know, making sure he doesn't fall off on, you know, fall off or whatever. You know, this, this is typical stuff, man. Typical stuff. He's just lounging around. But like I said, you can just look at his facial, you know, his facial expression. You can just see that Tyreek Hill. No, he's secure, you know, and um, like I said, I've been reading into it and like, it's nothing, you know, um, hopefully everything plays out right and uh, hopefully nothing goes sideways, but right now everything's looking great. Tyreek Hill will be at Kansas City Chiefs and he will be back next season. So we have nothing to worry about. So we can just, we can just let it all out. 
Because we got nothing to worry about. We, Tyreek Hill's not going no time soon, so we don't have nothing to worry about. So do not worry about that. Um, what else? Um, that's about it. I mean, draft is supposed to be coming up. It's a long way. Uh, draft is a couple more weeks. Um, that's all we got to worry about for right now. Uh, but right now, Brett has been killing it. Uh, we got Keith Reezer and we got uh, Emmanuel. Man. Our defense is gonna be it's gonna be up there, man. We got we still got some work to do. But um, like I said, man, Tyreek Hill is secure. You know, we can just you can just look at him. Like I said, you can go subscribe to his YouTube channel and you guys can look see for yourself. You know, he seems unbothered and it seems like he's secured. So uh, we have nothing to worry about, Chiefs fans. All I would say is that, you know, um, let's keep hoping that nothing turns sideways. But for right now, Tyreek Hill is the guy and he's not going anywhere. You know, we cannot afford to lose Cheetah at any cost. Um and yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta steal for Keith Reezer, you know. So like I said, if Keith Reezer was still, you know, lounging around, somebody would have got him, you know. Really, I'm just glad that we got him, you know. No offense, but he's better. He was better, you know, better than some of our secondary that we, you know, better than Steve Nelson in Orlando Scandrick. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if Keith Reezer would have showed out like he did this year, you know, would have been cool. But anyway, it's, it's, it's all, you know, Steve Nelson, he got his thing, man. I hope, I, I wish the best for Steve Nelson and Orlando Scandrick, but it is what it is. But anyway, it's about Wild 23 Amacha. Peace, man. Don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, man. Hey, it's about Wild 23 Amacha. Peace. Don't forget to leave a like, man. Like I said, drop a comment. Let's go!